Hi guys, we all know that The Great Escape is one of the most exceptional epic war suspense adventure movies of all time. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the world of The Great Escape like never before. We'll have the entire cast of Then and Now, and I will be revealing all of the juicy details about the original names of the characters and how the actors have changed since then. Okay, let's check it out together. James Garner was born as James Scott Bumgarner on April 7, 1928 in Norman, Oklahoma. He played the character Hanley the Scrounger in the movie when he was 35 years old in 1963. Sadly, on July 19, 2014, Garner died from a heart attack caused by coronary artery disease in Los Angeles, California at the age of 86. They immediately sued me, Rage Guard. And of course, I knew they weren't going to get anywhere to that when I got doctors after doctors telling me I had Richard Attenborough was born on August 29, 1923, in Cambridge, England. He played the character Bartlett Big X in the movie when he was 40 years old in 1963. Sadly, on August 24, 2014, Attenborough died after a stroke in Northwood, London, England at the age of 90. Sports and gardening, all the cultural pursuits as far as they're concerned. In fact, we're going to put the goons to sleep. Meanwhile, Wayne. And uh, if he came through that door, he not only had to duck, but he had to come sideways because his shoulders are so <laughs> And money... Charles Bronson was born as Charles Dennis Buczynski on November 3rd, 1921 in Aaronfield, Pennsylvania. He played the character Danny Tunnel King in the movie when he was 42 years old in 1963. Sadly, on August 30th, 2003, Bronson died from pneumonia and Alzheimer's disease in Los Angeles, California at the age of 81. I can't wait till it's over. See that building? That was like a new hot spot for you. James Donald was born on May 18, 1917, in Aberdeen, Scotland. He played the character Ramsey the SBO in the movie when he was 46 years old in 1963. Sadly, on August 3rd, 1993, Donald died of stomach cancer in West Tetherley, Hampshire, at the age of 76. On duty of all officers to try to escape. If they can't, it is their sworn duty to cause the enemy to use an inordinate number of troops to guard them, and their sworn duty... Donald Pleasance was born on October 5th, 1919, in Workshop, Nottinghamshire, England. He played the character Blythe the Forger in the movie when he was 44 years old in 1963. Sadly, on February 2, 1995, Pleasants died from complications of heart failure following heart valve replacement surgery in St. Paul de Vence, France at the age of 75. I'm sorry I fouled things up. That's right. Thank you for getting me. James Coburn was born on August 31, 1928, in Laurel, Nebraska. He played the character Sedgwick Manufacturer in the movie when he was 35 years old in 1963. Sadly, on November 18, 2002, Coburn died from a heart attack at his home in Beverly Hills, California, at the age of 74. I'm a British officer. I've just escaped from a prisoner of war camp in Germany. I'm trying to make my way into Spain now. Uh, you understand me? Okay. Can you help me? He was a guy who uh, was a genius for three hours a day, at least three hours a day, sometimes more, depending on how. Steve McQueen was born on March 24, 1930, in St. Francis Hospital in Beech Grove, Indiana. He played the character Hiltz the Cooler King in the movie when he was 33 years old in 1963. 
Sadly, on November 7, 1980, McQueen died of a heart attack at Juarez Hospital in Ciudad Juarez, Mexico, at the age of 50. Hot shot pilot. Unfortunately, you were shot down anyway. So we are both grounded for the duration of the war. Well, you speak for yourself, Colonel. A vehicle like this is an all-purpose recreational vehicle for the family. It's something that'll work in the sand or in the woods or in the snow. It's, uh, it's a good sport. Hannes Messimer was born on May 17, 1924, in Diligen an der Donau, Bavaria, Germany. He played the character von Luger, the Command, in the movie when he was 39 years old in 1963. Sadly, on November 2, 1991, Messimer died of a heart attack in Aachen, North Rhine, Westphalia, Germany, at the age of 67. Give up your hopeless attempts to escape. And as intelligent cooperation, we may all sit out. David McCollum was born on September 19, 1933 in Glasgow, Scotland. He played the character Ashley Pitt Dispersal in the movie when he was 30 years old in 1963. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 89. You fill these bags with the dirt from the tunnel. Then, wearing them inside your trousers. Kennedy was assassinated. But that's just a strange coincidence. Um, he had a... Gordon Jackson was born on December 19, 1923 in Glasgow, Scotland. He played the character McDonald Intelligence in the movie when he was 40 years old in 1963. Sadly, on January 15, 1990, Jackson died of bone cancer in London, England, at the age of 66. We, we can't destroy the dirt, we can't eat it. The only thing left to do is camouflage it. That's as far as my thinking takes me. On this one, but no, as, as you had a, you were in an hotel room with a number on yes. the door, I knocked there. But we all know that his lordship, you never needed to knock on the door, you just opened the only door you had to... John Layton was born on February 17, 1936, in Frinton-on-Sea, Essex, England. He played the character Willie Tunnel King in the movie when he was 27 years old in 1963. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 87. Turn up your hat. What are you doing here? Muffing up. And I've, I've never been on a bike since. I, I, I love bikes, but I actually learned to ride a bike. I wouldn't know how to ride a bike now. I would, um... Angus Lenny was born on April 18, 1930 in Glasgow, Scotland. He played the character Ives the Mole in the movie when he was 33 years old in 1963. On September 14, 2014, Lenny died of natural causes in Acton, London, England at the age of 84. Bikes? No, horse racing. Chalky. Chalky. You know, it all had to time properly. And in a, in a way it did. But it, it sounds... Nigel Stock was born on September 21st, 1919 in Malta. He played the character Cavendish the Surveyor in the movie when he was 44 years old in 1963. On June 23, 1986, Stock died of natural causes in Camden, London, England, at the age of 66. Did you make the survey, Dennis? Only a temporary one, sir. I make it just over 335 feet. Let me know when you've got an exact one, will you? This time we'll dig... Robert Graff was born on November 18, 1923, in Witten, Germany. He played the character Werner the Ferret in the movie when he was 40 years old in 1963. Sadly, on February 4th, 1966, Graf died of cancer in Munich, Bavaria, West Germany at the age of 42. Judd Taylor was born on February 25th, 1932 in New York City. He played the character Goff in the movie when he was 31 years old in 1963. 
Sadly, on August 6, 2008, Taylor died following a long illness at the age of 76. Hans Reiser was born on June 3, 1919 in Munich, Bavaria, Germany. He played the character Herr Kuhn in the movie when he was 44 years old in 1963. On June 14, 1992, Reiser died of natural causes in Munich, Bavaria, Germany at the age of 73. Harry Reibauer was born on June 3, 1919 in Munich, Bavaria, Germany. He played the character Strachwitz in the movie when he was 44 years old in 1963. On November 8, 1999, Reibauer died of natural causes in Berlin, Germany at the age of 78. You are the first American officer I've met. Hills, isn't it? Captain Hills, actually. 17 escape attempts. 18. A tunnel man, engineer. William Russell was born on November 19, 1924 in Sunderland, County Durham, England. He played the character Soren in the movie when he was 39 years old in 1963. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 98. Before we wrap up this journey through the world of the movie The Great Escape, I want to hear from you. Who is your favorite character from the movie? What's this thing that they have that is so appealing to you? Share your thoughts and feelings in the comments section below, and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you're always the first to know when new content is released. Your support and engagement mean the world to me. Thank you for joining me on this journey down memory lane.